Hey guys, my name is Dara and I'm a postdoc keeper here at the Baton Rouge Zoo and I'm going to introduce you to our two Red River hogs. So this is Frodo and this is Yoda. They are 13 year old brothers. Um, typically in, in captivity, Red River hogs can get to be up to 20 years old. A lot of people I find confuse Red River hogs with warthogs. Um, everybody knows the famous warthog um, Pumbaa from The Lion King, but they're actually totally different species. These guys are actually the smallest African hog species. They can weigh between 100 up to 300 pounds. These are both uncut males, so they're on the larger size um, of that spectrum. Red River hogs are also known for their distinct markings, so they've got these um, distinct markings on their face. They've got dark legs, and most importantly is this rusty orange-red coat that they have. Um, and they also have these really cool ear tassels off their, on their ears, um, which I personally think makes them super cute. Uh, but they do have a purpose. So Red River hogs don't live in the dry savanna like you may picture. They live in the wetland swamp areas of Africa with all the rivers, which it gives them their name, Red River Hog. Oh. <laughs> so um, these ear tassels are actually used since they live in the jungles. There's bugs everywhere. So they use these ear tassels as personal um, fly swatters. They do that with the ears and with the hair on their tails as well. Red River hogs are, like all pigs, are omnivores, which means they pretty much eat any and everything they can get their mouths um, onto. Uh, in the wild, they do something called rooting. So they take their noses and they actually push the dirt and the soil up and they'll find roots that way and bugs and things like that. Um, these guys love, after it rains, they have a field day in this yard. It turns into hog heaven and they just go wild with rooting. Um, Frodo and Yoda particularly are very fond of apples, sweet potatoes, and bananas. So Frodo likes the, the sweet potatoes better, Yoda likes the apples better, but at the end of the day, they'll eat whatever I give them because they really, they're omnivores, they eat anything. Um, we don't have females here at the zoo, but it's a cool thing to note the difference between them. So these boys have warty protrusions on their face like this. Um, it's like a bony uh, material and they also have small tusks so they use that in combat um, when males are fighting in the wild. And the females don't have that, they're more of a smooth face. The females are also a little more petite as well. After this video you should go look up a picture of a baby Red River hog. You won't regret it. They're super cute and small, covered in stripes, they look totally different. Um, they use that as a camouflage, so the mom will typically have about six, six piglets to a litter and after about six months they lose their stripes and they'll turn into this rusty orange, uh, get their coat. So thanks for listening and after, uh, once we open up again, you can come tell Frodo and Yoda hey and they'll be happy to see you. That's good boy. Y'all did so good for the camera. Yeah, you did. <laughs> can you hear them babe? Mm -hmm. Bless you. Yeah. He's a happy pig. He's a happy pig.